Great. Um, so good morning, everyone. Thanks for having me at Dever 2018. Um, so today, I'm going to talk about SIL, Swift Intermediate Language in Swift Compiler. So it's more like Swift Compiler itself, um, not just like Swift Programming Language in my talk. Uh, but before we dive into my talk, how many of you use Swift on a daily basis? That's great. And what about Objective-C? <laughs> That's great. I mean, we still love that, you know. <laughs> and uh, my talk uh, can apply to any of programming language because it's, it's more like, um, like optimization in compiler side. Um, so if you haven't written any code in Swift, uh, but don't worry, maybe you can bring some, some of the topics to your like, daily work. Right, and then my talk doesn't require any of like, high level of concept about Swift programming language, so don't worry about that. Right, um, so my name is Yusuke. I work for Merukari, which is um, located in Japan and US, UK. Uh, that's a C-commerce uh, marketplace applications. And then I've, I've been working for US team. And I just started learning about Swift compiler since last year, and then contributed it that a few times but most of the changes are really minor yet. So um, believe me, I'm just a beginner for this. You know, compiler is a huge topic. I don't think I can cover everything, not just talk, but in my life yet. <laughs> um, so this is just a part of, you know, compiler itself. <clears throat> All right, and so during my learning process, I thought it would be worth sharing what I've learned so far as Swift developer. So that's what I'm going to talk about today. All right, so first thing comes to your mind is probably why we need to run SEO or even Swift compiler. You know, we are pretty happy to write Swift on a daily basis, and then we don't really care about what, like how compiler actually works behind the scene because, you know, it just works. But um, I believe there are a couple of reasons to learn SEO. First one is, um, so, better idea of Swiss type system. Swift is awesome. It has like, so many features, like um, protocols, generics, structs, and more and more. So I believe, um, <coughs> I think learning SEO is a good approach, or even learning Swift compiler itself should be fine, but it's a good approach to know, to have better idea of Swift type system. And second, it's about optimizations, especially in SEO stage. So there are tons of tons of optimizations running in Swift compiler, especially in SEO stage. It's really good to know that, like how it's actually optimized in Swift compiler. Because you know, we have several optimization flags in Xcode, like dash o, dash non, dash uncheck, that kind of things. Um, so if you set those kind of flags in Xcode, it has slightly different behavior. And you know, since we have Swift, like let's say Swift, 2.0 or 1.0, it's sometimes it doesn't work as we expected. So uh, let's say maybe we can just set dash or no for even production. Maybe that's you know that was the best solution for that time, but not now because Swift is already involved and then it's sophisticated for now. Um, so it's really um, good chance to know how like which flag. Um, has like uh, the correct behavior for your own objective in your code base. And finally, this might be just for me, but it's quite fun and then also profit for my project as well. I know like learning compiler is really, really hard. Like I don't remember how many times I, um, I almost gave up like learning this, um, but it's, it's gonna be really profit for your project as well. All right, 
So it's about, it's about SIL. It stands for SWIFT Intermediate Language. So it's all about IR. <coughs> and SIL is a language specific intermediate language, oh, sorry, intermediate uh, representation. So this is only for SWIFT. We don't have this in Objective C. In Swift programming language, runs on Swift compiler, obviously. And this is a pipeline of Swift compiler. So it takes Swift source file, which is string, and constructs AST, generates SIL, and lowers to LLVM IR, and then emits binary code. So what Swift compiler does here is that takes string file and then emits binary code. That's it. You don't need to remember all the process here. Because today, um, we're going to focus on this part only. And if, if, I, divide, if I divide into two steps here, um, so SealGen actually generates raw seal, which is like first step of seal. And after that, um, it's going to be um, uh, seal optimizer generates canonical seal. We are not going to talk about like what the difference between two types of seal in this my talk, but if you are curious about like how um, like detailed optimization performing in Swift compiler, uh, maybe you can check out later. So before we dive into Swift compiler. Uh, let's compare to Objective-C. You know, we have Objective-C, right? Mm -hmm. Yay! <laughs> 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 All right, um, so Objective-C, um, this runs on Clang. And we have kind of same thing here as well. So this is a pipeline of Clang. It takes Objective-C file at the first and constructs AST then generates LLVM IR and emits binary code. So the only difference here and there is that Swift compiler has SealGem. You know, that's obvious because that's only for Swift. We don't have that in Objective-C. So instead, um, this LLVM performing other optimizations for Objective-C. So the reason why we have seal stage in our Swift compiler is that this does a lot, too many things. So that's why it was quite difficult for them um, to handle everything in LLVM. So that's why we, they extracted that stage as seal gem. So um, one of the interesting things here is that both languages use LLVM as backend. So even though we have different features from Swift and then Objective-C, that's totally like opposite language for, for me. But um, in the end, they use the same backend compiler system. So it's going to be LLVM IR either way. All right. So back to SEAL. So how, how does it work? How, what does it look like? So let's take a look together. So this is really simple function here. It's called number, and then that returns int value here. And then we have local constants, let x, and we set one into that, and then we just return that. Easy. So I'm going to create, I'm going to generate C5 <coughs> from this one. Here is a Swift C command, which emits seal file. And if you already have Swift in your laptop, um, Swift C should be available too. Good. That's just type alias, uh, uh, just as alias command here. All right. So if you run that command, you get this. And then first thing you have to do is don't panic yet, you know. <laughs> Maybe you can see like unfamiliar attributes, functions everywhere. But this is really simple. And then I'm going to 
I'm going to explain one by one. All right? So this part. See, this, it says number. So this is function name. And it's same. It takes nothing like as void as argument, and then it returns int. So we can consider, hey, this is number function here. Although it's mangled here, the function name is already mangled. Um, but still, this is function. All right, next. So this BB thing, it's called a basic block. That term, maybe you can see that term in LLVM because still um, is created for LLVM IR. So which means it has almost same architecture, also like grammar for that. So um, basic block, it's just a chunk of operation in functions. In this case, we don't have any complicated things here in this function, so that's why we only have one basic block. But um, there could be like multiple basic blocks in the functions. All right, so here it allocates let x on stack. Well, this is good. If you are familiar with Objective-C, probably you still remember like we have to like malloc or the allocates or whatever things like C++. So this is same concept here. And next, it creates struct with integer literal, which is a built-in int64 type of one. It just said one here, and then uh, have the struct. And next, store the struct into let x. This is easy. And after that, deallocates that let x. And then return the struct at the end. So maybe you can see, like you can understand whole functions here partially. It's not, it's not really difficult, you know, it, it just returns one at the end, right? So next, let's generate another seal file with optimization flag. This is all dash, um, like same flag we can use it in Xcode. So let's see how it's optimized from same Swift file, but another seal file here. So if you run, if you run this command, you get this. So if you look closely, you might notice that the number of lines is actually reduced. Let's, let's do the same thing again. <clears throat> all right, so this is function name. It's, it's exactly the same, all right? And then this is also basic block, which is same from before. And then it creates struct with integer retail. And then return that. So that's it. It's very simple here. So this is the diff between the one without optimization flag with the optimization flag. You can see this like alloc stack store, the alloc stack are completely gone. All right, that's how it's optimized. But like how come it's possible? Well, if we go back to Swift file, look at these functions. Well, this is useless. I mean, there's no point to have <laughs> this bet. <laughs> Because there, you know, the value is never changed. Well, that's because that, but do we, really, do, do we really need to have that x here? The answer is no, maybe we can do this instead. Maybe we can just return one immediately. So this is what happened in sales stage. This is how optimized in sale. So. You don't need to, like sometimes maybe we, we do some trivial mistakes in Swift, but Swift compiler automatically optimizes your code. So this is like 
winter for you, in other words. And I'm not going to dive into this like, concept a lot here, but um, this is called MEM2 register module here. So what it does is that um, <clears throat> it's about like register promotion of stack allocations. So when we calculate whatever values in Swift, comp uh, I mean compiler, uh, we sometimes store that in memory to calculate those values for a while. <clears throat> but um, in our example, that was really easy. Probably we don't need to store that in memory. Then why don't we have it in register? That's what memory to register promotions. You know, um, it's, the reason is simple. It's just faster than memory. So this is what, what I call like, optimization magic here. There are like, tons of tons of other optimizations performing in this sales stage. It's, it's not just, this is just one example, but there are, there are more than 100 optimization passes in Swift compiler. And as I said at the beginning, <clears throat> We have dash all norm, dash all, dash all unchecked, and then also dash size. Um, the thing is introduced since, since Swift 4.2. So this is a um, pretty new flag. And what this guy does in Xcode is that, so in general, uh, it's a good way to inline everything. Like let's say if you have closure, um, before you actually call the closure, in compiler, um, you never know what's um, the actual uh, code is there. But um, in compiler, actually, we we put all the codes there, even in enclosure, before that's executed, because it's gonna be faster um, <clears throat> than a current state. But that brings you know so many sizes for your co on code base or binary code. Um, so that's why. Um, so that's a side effect of inline whatever things. Um, but sometimes um, for specific projects, um, probably you don't like it. You wanna reduce your uh, total amount of size as binary code. So this flag tries to minimize those inline things as much as possible and then keep your size really small. So this flag has, you know, different behavior for the optimization things. Um, so if you're really curious, curious about this, probably um, you might want to check this out with previous Swift C command, so that um, you can see the like, exact exact um, difference here. And also. I didn't mention any of these um, options yet, but um, by using this dash x LLVM options, you can see like every step <clears throat> how it's optimized. So as I said, um, like memory to register is just one example. <clears throat> the hap like other optimizations happen at the same time actually. So I that was around. That should be less than 10 for the simple functions, but if you have actual functions, you know, it's really complicated. So um, there might be like more than 10 optimization performed for your function. However, it's quite difficult to know which one is which. So for that case, um, it's this one, C print all, is a quite uh, like useful one because you can see like how it's optimized in every step. All right, this is like before mem to register a promotion. This is before like alloc stack um, promotion, that kind of things. <clears throat> and also you can filter um, all the optimization by function name here. And also uh, you can specify um, the optimization pass name here. Let's say C print before mem to register promotion. So that uh, you can only uh, see the difference around the optimization pass. So I wouldn't recommend to like look at all the seal file 
in their project because it's gonna be hell. It's, it's so huge. <laughs> but you know, <clears throat> probably you, you have some points, like um, if it's Swift, um, let's say generics, it's a great topic, but you know, we have to like, really, really be careful of that <clears throat> because like generic speciali specialization optimization performs a lot in Swift compiler as well. So let's say if you have any like complicated generics, um, you might want to check that out in Swift compiler as well. So at that case, uh, you can just specify, hey, um, generics spe uh, specializations here. So that uh, you can only focus on uh, your change. All right, so here's my summary. So Swift compiler optimize a lot like, I don't, I don't even know like how many optimizations performed yet. Um, I would say it's probably more than 100 because I just counted in like Xcode, not Xcode, but I mean Swift compiler, but probably more than that because um, s those things um, should also happen in LLVM as well, not just Swift, uh, I mean not just Swift. So SEO is just for like Swift <coughs> specific optimizations. And we have kind of same thing in LLVM as well. So second is better idea of how Swift compiler works. So again, I would say it's a, you know, it's really good to know how Swift compiler works as Swift developer. You know, Swift programming language, it's just a tool to express our objective, you know. And then Swift compiler is also another tool to use Swift. So there is no reason not to like, have better understanding about Swift compiler. Uh, it's, always, it's always good to have that as much as possible. And again, this topic, compiler, it's amazing, but it's so difficult to learn. I mean, so I don't understand why I have to learn Swift. I, I have to learn C++ to learn Swift in this moment yet. You know, we just, we are here to learn Swift, not, not to learn C++. And then also LLVM, that's really complicated. However, like after I learned this idea, I was able to bring this topic back to my, like <clears throat> my work and then also side project as well. So I wouldn't say everything can be like profitable for your project. However, uh, maybe you can bring, bring, bring back some topics to your uh, work or side project as well. So if you're interested in, just have a look. And then first thing probably you thought is that, what the hell is C++? <laughs> but um, I, believe me, <clears throat> it's, a, it's, a, it's a really good thing. You know, because it's in, in the end, uh, just C++, it's, it's, it's not like Swift. Swift is not written in Swift. So you have to deal with that. You have to um, deal with C++ in the end. It's, so half of thing might be Swift issues, what you have, but half of thing could be, I mean, um, the concept of Swift compiler. So it depends on your issues we have. Um, maybe we have to deal with C++ sometimes. And these are reference from my talk. And then uh, first one is my like blog post that, um, so I sometimes introduce hey, like what's the difference between that and var in C stage? Because we thought that's like, you know, there's a clear difference between them, but in the end in compiler, um, it has like another meaning there, something like that. And then also I wrote about the default functions in C, C stage, something like that. And these are official documentation in Swift repository even though 
it's like it's too long. It's it's like I don't know. There are more, there are more than hundred pages for this, so I wouldn't recommend read everything at the beginning. Um, but maybe you can just pick up um, whatever topics you like at, at the uh, at the beginning. And this is um, this is a talk from from Chris Nutner in LLVM developer meeting. So that's a, it's an it's an interesting conference. So every topic is about LLVM. That's you know really good conference. And then he gave a talk about sale. I think it was twenty fifteen something. <clears throat> so this is a long long video clips, um, but it's different. To, you know, <clears throat> he's introducing like overview of Swift compiler, not just SEAL, but um, whole idea of um, why do they have uh, different architecture from CLAM, even though they still use LLVM. So it's, it's really worth it. All right, um, so I think that's it. I really appreciate it for having me here, and thank you so much. <laughs>